Okay, in this next very simple math lesson for animators, I'm going to show you something also really incredibly important for all throughout mathematics. I mean, this is so important. And that comes back to this value of pi here. All right, here's our symbol for pi. It's a Greek letter pi, right? So it's, it's an approximate, it's approximate value. It's not exactly equal to a value. So I don't always want to use an equal sign. Sometimes I'll say is a pro maybe you use an approximate sign because and you'll see this here in a second what it's all about. But a good approximation for pi is three point and this is probably the way you know it, three point one four one five nine like this is what you typically see it as. Or when you first see it, sometimes you just see it as 3.14 like this. In the engineering world, like for instance, if you have an HP calculator and put in value of pi, it comes out as 3.1416 like that. That becomes quite a very nice approximation right there. So that's so you, sometimes you'll see me use this number as well for the value of pi. Well, what pi comes into play in circles for a couple things. One is as far as the length around the circle or the circumference essentially and the area within the boundaries of the circle like that and that'll be a square measurement and even though it's a circle it's going to be a square measurement when we end up calculating the area. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the length of the circle all right, or the circumference basically all the way around the circle and I'm going to show you how pi is an approximate value and it's approximate because it's you know what happens is your circle really when you think about it when you look up closer to circle it's really just a bunch of connected line segments right here see it's a straight line and a straight line and a straight line and that's because I built this object out of a cylinder initially and if I was to add another cylinder to the scene say shift a mesh add a cylinder like this to the scene which I did here and then I just got rid of the top of it and then if I press T, you can come down here and it shows the cylinder is, you know, you're free to choose how many vertices along the edge. There's 32 vertices up here. Well, maybe in this case, I'm going to make this one with 16. Like that. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one as I did with the other one real quick. So let me move it up first so I can see it. Go back into edit mode. B. Get rid of these vertices. All right, that's better. And then also, well, one of the things when you do it, you see my center is up there. So a couple things I'll do is one, in within edit mode here, I'm going to flip the normals around because I'm looking at the inside of the cylinder real quick. All right, so there it is, that location. And then the other thing in object mode, I'll transform the origin to the geometry just so I know where it is. And then I'll give that a new color. All right, so now we're going to see that the edges are obvious now. It doesn't quite look like a circle, right? It's a pr it's approximating a circle with these individual length edges like this. So now let's go back and grab our tools for looking at the dimensions because we can, let's see, TN, bring our tools up like this, edit mode, and notice in this one here, I already have those set then, so notice the length of each one of those edges is 0 0.196. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And then we'll come over here and we'll look at this. And then in edit mode, I guess I'm going to have to set these as well. Edge length for these are 0 0.3902. All right, so a little bit different. All right, so let's see if we can see if there's any real difference in this case. Sometimes you, you won't see a difference. It depends on how they're actually calculating the numbers within within the computer too. So that can throw us off. But we'll see if it does or not. So we have 30, this is 32 segments to this circle. So we'll do bring the calculator in and I'll clear it. So calculator is 32 times 0.19 oops, clear. 32 times 0.196 is 6.272. I'll add that to memory. 6.272, or I'll write that down here. 6.272 is what it's calculating it for the length all the way around this circle. All right. So now let's take a look at this one here. And this one was 0.3902, and there's only 16 of those. So 16 times 
0.3902 equals oh look at that and they calculate the, the length of the circle to be 6.2432 like this so they're saying that it's a shorter length all the way around the circle like this and a greater length here so now let's go take a look at the formula for a circle so to calculate the circumference or the length all the way around a circle so here's our circle like this and we're looking for the length all the way around it is just you, you you'll either see it in two forms you either see it is pi times the diameter so pi d you'll sometimes see sometimes you'll see a capitalized or a little I'll use a I'll just use a big d for the moment and the other way you see it is or I'll say or you see it as 2 times pi times the radius so 2 pi r all right they both had they're both valid all right so let's look at pi d so we know that these circles is uh, this circle is basically the same as let me if I move it over you can see it's blender units 1 2 so their diameter is 2 units so pi times d would be the same as get the calculator up here let's use the accurate their representation 3.14159 and we'll multiply that times 2 for the diameter is 6.28318 all right so 6.28318 like that and then look at so notice the number is 6.283 versus 6.27 on this circle not as much 6.243 on this circle not as much so you can see that it, be, it becomes approximate based on you know how precise your circle is I mean so everything all these little details come into play but right there what we've done is we've just calculated the length of the circle all right so you can see it's you know if you're using something like that and you're trying to call that a circle well your lengths aren't going to be the same we're basically having to add up the individual lengths of each one of those we wouldn't even call this a circle they would call it a 16 segment n-gon really for that and that would just really like a 32 segment n-gon but at some point at some point it approximates the length of a circle so you, know, you can do the same thing here 2 pi times the radius would be just 2 times pi which would actually end up being that same number there and times the radius and the radius only being you know from the center out to the edge like that that's your radius value there so it would be the exact same term in this case it'd be 6.28 we'll do so in the next lesson we'll deal with areas and we'll deal with volumes of cylinders all right well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson